Today we're going to be checking out this Razer Cobra mouse. This mouse is aimed towards mid-tier players slash beginners and it's also good for people who are trying to increase their productivity. Now the reason I say this is a mid-tier slash beginner mouse is because Razer does have a pro version of this mouse which has much more features and higher in specs. When you open the box for this mouse, this is pretty much all that's gonna be included as well as instruction manual and some stickers. So it has a pretty simple setup and it's very plug and play, easy to use. In terms of the design aesthetics, I'm a really big fan of what they did here. I like this glossy finish on the outside and this non-glossy finish for the buttons and where your palm rests as well as the side here. Although for the side, I will say I do wish this was more rubberized because it does feel like it does, it's trying to slip out of my hand a little bit, but not too bad. I'm glad that they at least made it textured so you do have a firmer grip there. If you look at the scroll wheel, you can see that it is made of rubber and if I try to wobble it to the left or right, there's practically no wobbling going on and this thing is built firmly on the mouse, which is a huge plus. Now, if we look on the back of the mouse, you can see that there is gonna be the 8K sensor that is pretty standard for these mid-tier type of mice. And then there's gonna be two skates, one at the top, one at the bottom, and actually three, one in the center here around the center. And this mouse is gonna work good on most materials, whether you're on wood, a regular mouse pad, or some carbon fiber desk, it's gonna work just fine. And then the mouse itself in terms of weight is gonna be ultra lightweight. I mean, this thing almost feels like I'm holding a feather, not that light, but it's definitely light coming in at 58 grams, which is pretty light when you're competing with other lightweight mice. This mouse isn't aimed towards being the lightest mouse possible, possible because if they were trying to go lighter they would have added the honeycomb cutouts which shave, would shave off a few grams. Now the cable itself is going to be made of Razer's flex braided material which is what they call it and basically this is going to be really nice because it's very smooth there's going to be like no cable drag as opposed to with a silicone cable there's going to be a slight level of drag and silicone just a little more higher maintenance when dust gets on it it just gets really nasty looking and you have to get like a wet rag and wipe it through. Both braided, you just brush it off if it gets dusty and it's all done. And speaking of the cable, it doesn't detach from the mouse. So this is gonna be a wired only mouse. There's gonna be no wireless connectivity options like Bluetooth or a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Now in terms of the actual clickers themselves, this is using Razer's Gen 3 optical switches. And here's a quick click test for you guys to hear what it sounds like. So overall, the switches feel good to me. That has this like tactile feel. It's not gonna be like a rubber dome switch if you're going for something ultra silent. It's gonna actually have that tactileness. And then in terms of loudness, it's gonna be pretty loud. Not too loud, but it'll definitely disturb people around you if you work in a quiet office environment where if you drop a pen, everybody can hear it. Now in terms of the comfort and grip styles with this mouse, it's gonna vary depending on your grip style. But overall, this mouse is very versatile. If I do it with the palm grip, which is where I just place my palm on top of the mouse, this feels really good to me and it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all with my mid-sized hands. The other grip is claw grip, which is where you kind of grip it like this and you're kind of like kind of crunching it like this. And this feels good to me as well. No issues with any of the grip, not uncomfortable at all. And then the other final grip style that's common is gonna be the fingertip grip is where your hand kind of floats above the mouse like this. And this feels good to me as well. My thumb can grasp the edge of the mouse easily. And then my ring finger and pinky are very comfortably placed on the sides. So all of the grip styles that are common are gonna feel fairly comfortable on this mouse. Now in terms of RGB lights, you have two glowing lights on the mouse. You have the logo here, and then you have the lower half of the mouse on the back glowing here. And these can be customized in the software. If I go to the lighting tab in the software, and there's gonna be a few different options here where you can choose from. Like if you want breathing, you can cycle between two colors like green and blue, and the choice is up to you. And then in the software, you do have things like the brightness of the mouse, you have switch lighting off after a certain period of time. You have performance settings where if I press this center button, you can see that it toggles between the different stages and I get a little notification at the bottom right of my screen that shows which stage I'm on. And then there's gonna be polling rates and then customization. These are gonna be all of the customization buttons. If I click on one of them, you can go ahead and see all of the settings 
settings here and I do have a dedicated video where I go over the software if you wanna see things more in depth. And then in terms of functionality, if I click a button here, you can see all of the settings that you can customize with this mouse. Keyboard functions, mouse functions, switch profile, switch lighting, multimedia, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of customization you can do with the mouse. And then on the last tab, we have calibration, which is where you can configure the mouse to perfectly work in the area where you prefer on the mouse pad. So this mouse isn't gonna have any onboard memory, meaning if you take this mouse to another computer, the settings won't be saved on the mouse. You would have to reinstall the Razer software on that computer and then re-add your settings in. The mouse is going to be compatible with both Windows and Mac, but however, the software is only going to work with Windows. But overall, it's going to be a solid mouse for someone who's looking for something entry level or mid tier and wants to upgrade their mouse. If you want to see a full, if you want to see a full software video of this mouse, be sure to click the video right up here. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.